What's up guys? New week, new me, am I right? No, that's not how it works, right? We're doing exactly the same thing as every other week. This is our consistency work. Just identifying winning factors, small actions here and there, and doing that over time. Welcome back to the Notorious Nico Show. All right, you're looking at the man himself, the action man. Hopefully, the audio is pretty good here out here. I'm out here on the balcony. I uh, just wanted to change the scenery a bit. It's nice and warm, as always, here in beautiful Bangkok, Thailand. Maybe I'll show you guys a bit something, okay? This is, this is the view. I wake up to this view every morning. Wait, I can't show it more, all right? But it's quite nice, I can tell you that, all right? It's very easy to wake up when you live in a, a fucking penthouse-looking-ass apartment like this. I just wanted to tell you guys something. I just want to talk about something, okay? It's about inspiring others, changing your circle of friends. I posted about this in my Telegram group. If you're not in the Telegram, by the way, then join the Telegram, okay? I post daily value, okay? Unfiltered, not like YouTube, okay? I can speak, say whatever I want on Telegram. So I, 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 talk, I talk about a lot of valuable stuff in there. So you should check that Telegram out. Uh, there's a pinned comment down below. The Telegram link will be there. Uh, join and just get free value. My God, right? Listen, you have your circle of friends, right? Maybe it's time to change that up, okay? Maybe it's time to change your circle of friends. Maybe your circle of friends do not hold the values that you would like to have, that you would like to live by, right? It's time to change that. Now, how, will, how do you go about changing the circle of friends? I'll tell you what not to do, okay? What not to do is become resentful, okay? We are not douchebags here. Even though I kind of look like a douchebag right now, you know, and look very good. By the way, if you want to look this good, you can check the link. I have another link just in the description. Uh, you can work with me one-to-one. -one. You can build an immaculate physique less like this. But listen, we are not douchebags, okay? We're not douchebags. We are very kind individuals here. We're all about developing ourselves. And by developing ourselves, we develop our ability to be kind, to uh, show respect to people, right? This is what it's all about. Um, and when it comes to changing your circle of friends, we don't do that in a douchebag type of way. We don't do that in like a fuck you type of way. At, at least we don't do that directly. We don't say that directly, hey, fuck you, right? Uh, what we do, however, what I've done over my last decade of training, of improving my life, of uh, you know, building my body, building my mindset and everything, is we lead by example, okay? We lead by example. This is how we do it. When you want to change your circle of friends. You're gonna start with you, okay? You're not gonna, you know, don't look at it as a way of removing them. Look at it in a way of, hey, I'm gonna improve myself. And that way, you're gonna attract the people into your life that actually, uh, you know, fit with those values that you want to, you know, hold and live by. Because once you start living by those, you, you will see them come into your life in some way or shape or form. It's very weird because you can't really uh, make it tangible like that in a certain way, in like uh, in scientific or whatever. It, it just, it's weird because it's kind of like magnetic. It sounds kind of voodoo, but people come into your life and they, 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 they're on the same path as you. They hold the same values and that's how it works. So, but don't look at it in a way of, hey, screw you guys, I'm pushing them away. Because now you're essentially just the same you, right? So the way we do about it, the way I've gone about it for the last decade is I've developed myself. I've, I had my circle of friends and I, just went to the, I started going to the gym. That's how I started. I started going to the gym and as I started going to the gym, I started holding the values I wanted. I started doing what I wanted. I started becoming who I wanted to be. Uh, and this goes you know, way beyond the gym, of course. As you know, you've seen all my other videos. If you haven't, what are you doing? Click down and you know, look at my other videos. Absolutely phenomenal. These are probably the best videos on YouTube right now. There's absolutely no one who beats me. Insane, insane the amount of value. When I started the gym though, I slowly over time started doing that more. And I started doing that more. And I started immersing myself in what it's like, you know, absolutely devoting your life to becoming better. That's what I want. I want the mastery, right? And so the values I, I learned through failure, through wins, right? But through that journey and being on that journey, I had people fall out of my life. My past circle of friends, they fell out of my life. 
and that's not something I did on intention. I still I treat them very kindly. I still have uh, you know some sort of contact with them every now and then. Maybe I'm back in Norway. I talk to them, but it's not someone I would call uh, my friend. As in, because I think that if you call someone your friend, I think that that should hold a certain value. Uh, it's a it's a term that has power, and if you can call anyone your friends, then you have no friends, truly. I posted, about, I posted about this in my Telegram the other day as well. Using these labels, especially when it comes to an athlete, which I have talked about here on this YouTube uh, previously, then that should hold some value. And it, it's, it would be disrespectful to someone who is an absolute phenomenal athlete to sit there like a like a, all these hybrid IG athletes who think they're doing you know a lot of stuff really they're just training once a day not doing that much really and calling themselves athlete going out you know on the weekends and partying that's not what an athlete is all right take that term throw it off the balcony and uh you know take a good look in the mirror but where was i so um yeah so i started i changed my life right and i still have some co contact with these people every now and then when i'm back in norway and it's i never pointed my finger at them and said hey it's time for you to change too all right hey you're not good at this you're not this you're not that right i never pointed my finger at them and said it's time for you as well to do what i do i you know i was like in a gym because i felt good right that's okay i said to them hey you want to join me for a workout and they said no and it's like okay that's fine that's fine hey man i, I think you'd really enjoy this workout hey I, i'm feeling i'm you know I'm mean, feeling really good. I started working out. I'm getting, you know, my chest. My chest is looking good. I get my abs, right? Uh, and you say this to your friends, and some people, they decide to follow, okay? They decide to, hey, man, you're doing this workout thing, and it's really inspiring. You, wow, how did you get started with this workout thing, right? Your friends, your old circle of friends will say that to you. Some of them, maybe, perhaps, right? Depends on your circle, of course. If they're absolute slobs, maybe not, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and some will say that, and you, you can go like, yeah, man, I've been training. Oh, when I go to the gym, I do this type of workout. It's so cool, man. I have so much more energy in the day, and you can be energetic and be enthusiastic about it. And the way you say that, the way you frame it like this, this is how we inspire. This is how we inspire, guys, okay? We don't go to people, we don't go to our old circle of friends and be like, yeah, fuck you. You're not doing what I'm doing. I'm better than you. Like, what we do, guys, we, we're not dicks about it, as I mentioned. So what we do is, we just keep hammering every single day, all right? Every single day we wake up and we're like, hey, yeah, today I'm going to change my life. Today I'm going to be even better than I was yesterday. And that has power, okay? You get a glow out, uh, like you, you get a glow on yourself that says, hey, I'm out here, I'm out killing it. Uh, and then we can leave it to the other people, the people that sit on the sidelines, our old circle of friends, for example, some of them, as I mentioned, might be like, hey, yeah, this is really cool. How can I, can I join you for a workout? I want to learn more about this, right? They, they might say that. And of course, we'll, 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 you know, help them along, right? That's just fun, right? Now you're two, two people changing your lives together. Amazing, right? Amazing, absolutely phenomenal. Um, wherever that point starts, right? Whether that is, you know, waking up and uh, getting a nice haircut. Yeah, let's go get some cool haircuts together, right? Feel good about ourselves fucking phenomenal my god I'm, I'm so happy just talking about this makes me happy you know it's amazing like if you can hear stories about this people you know going out there and just doing something let's go for a walk in the park for example how amazing would that be going for a walk in the park you know getting healthy getting in shape little a walk in the park let's drink the water while we're doing it hey man you want to join me for this walk amazing amazing right um then then if people want to do that then that is on them and of course we're gonna keep them on and then when it comes to people who don't really seem to care, uh, maybe they're even being negative, we are gonna ignore that, okay? We're gonna ignore that. Usually you'll have some pushback, or that's at least what I've heard from a lot of uh, people. I never had that. I'm very glad I didn't have that because I think that said something about my previous circle of friends. They're really good people. Uh, they're just not that interested, right, in what I'm doing. Uh, but I never had any one of them be like, yeah, why are you doing this? Uh, right? right. Um, but, but those people, I pity them, right? I pity them, I truly do. And I think that's what you should do as well. You shouldn't be resentful towards them. It's just the way you approach that is, as I said, you just keep hammering. You ignore it and you keep hammering every single day. Because these people, 
it's not on you to change your life, okay? If they don't care about what you're doing, if, you don't care, if they don't care about you improving your life, going to the gym, becoming the best version of yourself, then that's on them. It's not on you. We are not out here to save anyone else. We are not saviors. If, you see, the attention, if we have to put all our attention on other people, then we're doing too little. If we have actually, uh, you know, a reserve uh, at that point, to sit there and think about, hey, I need to get my friend on this, like ASAP, then we're starting at the wrong end because our attention needs to be 100% self-centered uh, to a point though, of course. We're gonna help our mother with the grocery bags and everything, but we can't go around and fill our thoughts with, hey, I need to help this, I need to help that, I need to help this, I need to help that, right? <clears throat> so what we do is, as we go along this path of improving our life, building our body, building our mindset, these people will fall off. And that's okay. We need to, and I, I want to hammer this point down that it is okay. It is absolutely okay if people don't want to follow you on your path. Don't resent them. Just realize that they're, uh, they're not on that path. And that's okay. Because there are so many people out there who are waking up early, doing, or having a mission, going out there absolutely killing it every single day. And those people, once you start changing life, they will come into your life in some way, shape, or form. You'll meet them in the gym. You'll meet them on a run. You'll meet them uh, in, the, in the fighting gym. Oh my God, you'll meet them in the fighting gym. Everyone's there, uh, you know, and I mean, it's not like everyone who, who is going to the gym and everyone who goes out for a run is a good person, but the, the big thing, and really the message of this video is that changing your circle of friends is not you pushing away, right? It's you just keep hammering doing the daily actions necessary, and then that is gonna either attract people, like your old circle friends, to like, hey, follow me, I know this, this is working, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling energetic, I'm looking better, I'm eating healthier, and they're gonna follow that, or they're gonna stay on the sidelines, or absolutely, you know, just run off. You know, maybe they're not attracted to it at all, maybe they're actually deterred from you, um, if that's a word. Uh, or they get resentful because you're changing your life. And, you know, you just got to take it with a grain of salt, right? Because I'll tell you, if you are doing the <coughs> what the fuck? If you are doing the necessary steps right now to improve your life, then I want you to look at me, okay? Real talk, look at me. I want you to just keep hammering every single day, okay? You need to do this. Yeah, I want you to realize that exactly what you're doing right now, you're going to the gym, you're improving your mindset, you're eating healthier, you're learning new stuff. If you do that every single day, look at me, look at me. I'm telling you this. I'm standing on top of the Bangkok skyline. And I'm telling you, if you do this every single day, if you get stay focused, if you stay consistent, if you stay disciplined every single day, for not that long, it's not gonna, it, like, in the end, it's not gonna feel like that much of a time. But in the end, you'll stand there and you'll be like, hell yeah, we did it. I have this group of people around me helping me. Uh, I'm, I have positivity around me all day long and it feels amazing. I'm able to uh, inspire, to provide for other people. And in the end, that's what this is all about, okay? Improving yourself and helping others along the path, being able to provide, becoming the best version of yourself, feeling good, feeling strong. Um, on another note though, guys, uh, I just wanna tell you guys, go and follow the Telegram, okay? I'm putting a pinned comment down there. Get into the Telegram get the daily value, free value. Also, follow my Instagram. Seriously, I post daily in the stories, my life, uh, all, I share value posts and everything. I uh, talk to you guys directly through the stories every single day, I do daily reels. It's amazing, okay? It's so much free value, it's absolutely nuts. It's like these videos, but all the time. It's so much positivity, you can't but change your mindset and become better in life. I swear to you, absolute God. Also, I wanna say this, if you guys really want to level up your fitness and mindset, I'm not ashamed for plugging this stuff because I know this stuff works so well. Uh, then sign up for my fitness coaching offer. Seriously, all right? I have a link in the description right now. If you want to work to me, one-to-one, -one, not anyone else, you work with me, personally, Nikolai, the action man. Uh, then click that link, you can book in a call, and we'll see if uh, we're a good match for your goals. And Because this is a very bespoke service, I do everything for you, so all you have to do is just win. It's that simple, all right? So with that, take care, thank you for watching, and God bless. Boom!